friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenny Campbell and I make fashion and beauty videos here on YouTube for the busy mom and the mom who wants to look cute and stylish and chic on a budget. Today, we're going to talk about family pictures. So we just got our family pictures taken this past weekend and every time we get family pictures made, I get tons of questions about how I choose, the clothes that we wear. I will say I am by no means the best at this in the world. I see people on Pinterest and Instagram who have amazing family pictures. This is just kind of simple and how I kind of do it on a budget. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Okay, here are some of our past family picture outfits. I wanted to say that the way that I generally choose these outfits is I choose an outfit that I really like. Generally, it's for one of the kids. I don't usually start with the grown-ups. I choose an outfit that I really like for one of the kids, and then I base everybody else's outfit around that outfit. So whatever colors I really like, whatever outfit I think is really cute, I base everyone else's colors off of that, and then I try and find affordable pieces that I can add to the mix that go with that specific thing. So this year, this is the outfit that all of our outfits were based on. This is Lucy, and she is dressed in an outfit from Aria Grace Boutique. This is last year's collection. I bought it last year used, and I just loved it. So I based everybody's outfit on this. So once I had my colors chosen, I went to Pinterest, and I typed in family pictures and I typed in the colors that I wanted to look for. So I typed in olive and plum because those were the main colors I wanted to look for and looked on Pinterest and tons of stuff came up. As you can see right here, it's going to show us, came up with ideas, outfit ideas, things that would look cute together, how to style them. And so I looked at all these things and kind of formulated some ideas in my head. So here is the picture that I ended up settling on. This one right here. I really liked how this looked. I liked that it had navy with it and some cream with it. I thought I could do a lot with that. And so I took a screenshot of that and I saved it to my phone. Okay, very important step next. I have to go to Etsy because every year my boys have to wear bow ties or at least some kind of tie. Just think that's so cute. That's a big deal for us. So I searched for plum ties and I searched for olive ties. And as you can see, that very first one is the one we ended up going with. And Landon wore the purple bow tie. Levi ended up with the suspenders. So it worked out. They looked both precious and then I wanted Levi to wear a different color bow tie I didn't want them to wear the exact same one so I went ahead and searched for an olive colored bow tie and then I found one of those there were tons of choices this is one area that I don't do a great job trying to be affordable I love bow ties and I tend to really splurge on this one item for family pictures everything else I generally buy used but I love bow ties for little boys that's the one we ended up going with and Levi looked adorable in it Okay, we're back to being responsible and choosing affordable things. So I buy a lot of my kids' clothes on ThreadUp. There's an app for it. It's really cool. It is an online sort of resale shop. And so you can search for what you like. You can search for any kind of things that you want. And so I went on and I searched for boys. And I, well, I didn't search for boys. I searched for boys' clothes. And I found on here, I decided that I wanted Landon, since Levi was going to wear an olive bow tie, I wanted Landon to wear olive pants. So I found his size and I, I put in the color green and then I went ahead and searched. And I ended up finding some nice little chino type pants that were olive colored skinny pants for Landon and he looked just adorable on it but they have really great prices on here sometimes they go as low as $4.99 sometimes even cheaper than that and so they are really really a great deal if you can find something you like on thread up Okay, so Landon is going to be wearing his olive pants, his purple bow tie. I thought the best kind of shirt for him would probably be a denim style shirt. I thought that would be really cute. So I went back to the boys. I went back to 4T 
I clicked on blue and then up came tons of blue shirts. You can also refine your search to say I only want long sleeved, I only want collared shirts, button up shirts. But as I was looking through this, I realized I wasn't finding anything I liked. So you can go to the search button. If you click on search, you can click on where you want to search. Obviously, I wanted to search in the boys section and then type in what you want. I typed in that I wanted a denim shirt. And then once you search, you can find tons of things that you like, great prices. I loved being able to do this. Look at that cute little paper denim and cloth one. That is so cute for $4.99. And so that is how I got Landon's denim shirt. I did this very same thing for Levi, and I ended up deciding to let him just wear his plain khaki pants and a plain white shirt. So that's what I did for him. Okay, so here's what we all ended up looking like. The kids were so cute. They matched so well, and I loved seeing them there cute little clothes. Sean Ware wore a cute little plaid button-up. He looked very handsome, and my clothes were from Thread Up as well. Okay, so that is how I choose our family picture outfits, how I gather them together, and how I get them on a budget. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps me out. And then also, click the red subscribe button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you in the next one.